great wide beautiful wonderful world by william brighty rents william brighty rents is a well known english poet and he has written many nursery rhymes for children this poem is all about the beauty of the world here the poet tries to describe the beauty wonder and greatness of the earth now Let's read and understand the poem stanza wise. Great wide beautiful wonderful world with the wonderful water round you curled and the wonderful grass upon your breast world you are beautifully dressed. In the first stanza the speaker describes the world to be great wide and a place full of wonders. He is also amazed by the beauty of the earth. He further says that the earth is surrounded by the water and is beautifully dressed with the wonderful grass upon her, which makes the world look more and more beautiful. The wonderful air is over me and the wonderful wind is shaking the tree. It walks on the water and whirls the mills. and talks to itself on the tops of the hills in this stanza the speaker talks about the different things that are found on the earth he says that the air is over him and also the wind shakes the trees when it blows according to the speaker the wind also walks over the water and it creates ripples and waves on it here He describes the various activities of the wind when it blows over the water, mills, and also how it creates some sounds when it travels on the hill tops. You friendly earth, how far do you go? With the wheat fields that nod and the rivers that flow, with cities and gardens and cliffs and isles, and people upon you for thousands of miles. Here. The speaker describes the earth to be friendly in nature. This is because it provides us air and water which helps all the creatures to live on her and also it allows the plants and trees to grow on her. In this stanza the speaker also talks about some other several things that we find on earth such as trees, flowing rivers, gardens, wheat fields, cliffs cities islands and even human beings ah you are so great and i am so small i tremble to think of you world at all and yet when i said my prayers today a whisper inside me seemed to say you are more than the earth though you are such a dot you can love and think and the earth cannot In the last stanza the speaker now compares himself with the earth he feels himself very small and inferior in front of the earth as he thinks the earth to be very grand and wide he feels that the earth is so great and compared to it he is so small that he trembles to think of the earth but soon his thoughts change in the end because Although in terms of size the world is big compared to him but the speaker soon realizes that he is even greater than the earth this is because of the feelings and emotions that he is capable of unlike the earth thus through this poem the speaker wants to convey the message that our greatness lies within us as we are able to feel and think and those feelings and thoughts must be used in a positive way